You know, homicides get all the headlines these days. 59 murders for the year and still counting compared to 47 murders for the same time last year. Now, while that cannot be ignored, there is some good news tonight in those crime stats. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt joins us live with the story. Jack. Overall crime during the first quarter in the city dropped by more than 12 percent, and those are the kinds of numbers that give rise to a level of optimism unless you've been the victim of a crime. I don't know what I'm going to do. For the second time in less than three weeks, 78-year-old Esther Parton has experienced the heartbreak of another burglary. And for the second time, the suspects went through the back window to gain entry into the house. During the first break-in, the thieves took computers and electronics. This time, they got the TV set. And for the second time, there is fear and frustration. I don't know what I'm going to do. This, I grew up in a neighborhood where you didn't even have to lock your doors. I'm going to have to move back to Kentucky, I guess. This week alone, Metro Police investigated a triple murder on the city's far northwest side. And today, police are investigating two separate robberies, during which both victims were shot. Those are the kinds of incidents that lead citizens to believe the city's crime rate is... Up. It's getting really bad. And why do you feel that way? Well, with all the crimes and the shootings that you hear on the news and... It's getting a little scary. According to the IMPD crime trend, through the first quarter of 2014, crime has dropped. While homicides are on the increase, rapes and serious assaults have experienced big declines, leading to an overall 3% drop in violent crime. And property crimes, compared to the same first quarter last year, have declined by more than 13%, led by a 26% drop in the burglary rate. Overall, crime in Indianapolis is down by 12%, a number that is still a tough for some, like recent crime victim Robert Randall. It's probably the same. I don't think it's changed a whole lot. Uh, we're going to have this stuff as long as we got the kids or no jobs or, or, or nothing to do. And the near 26% decline in burglaries is of little consequence to Esther Parton, nor to the other 8,947 other people who reported crimes to police in the first quarter of this year. You have any suggestions? I don't know. Get me a shotgun and shoot him when he comes in the door? I don't know what to do. Metro Police announced today their plans to hire 60 additional police officers next month and another 20 police officers before the end of the year. And those are the kinds of numbers that crime-weary residents want to hear most. Reporting live, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.